G'day guys, Michael from Retro Snapbacks Melbourne and I'm making this video due to all the questions we've had from customers about why we don't sell Michelin S Snapbacks. Basically the reason is that all the Michelin S Snapbacks on Facebook are fake and we don't sell fake products. So what we've gone and done is we've bought a fake Michelin S, well, as they would say, an authentic Michelin S Snapback from one of our competitors and we've gone to the Michelin S website and bought a real authentic Snapback from them. And just to prove that, you can see there's a tag there with the price and the barcode. This is the authentic, and this is a fake, fake authentic. Basically, we're going to show you the differences. You can see with the fake one here, the writing is a lot bigger on the front, the giants, than the uh, authentic one. And if you look closely, you can see the stitching between the N and the E. The stitching that, sti that uh, joins those letters. Uh, it's the same with the E and W, the Y and the O and the R and the K. And if you look at the authentic one, you can see that there's no stitching between those letters. So if you have stitching between uh, letters on your snapback, it's a fake. The second difference is just the quality of the air holes. You can see stitching is loose on most of the air holes there. This hat, hat, we haven't touched this hat since we bought it from one of our competitors who was claiming that it was real. There you go. And guys, if they say, oh, it was crushed in the box, it doesn't mean, that shouldn't make the stitching loose. As you can see with the genuine authentic uh, Mitchell and snapback, the stitching is perfect. There you go. All right, another difference on the outside of the hat is the back, the snap. Hopefully you'll be able to see this on the camera. But on the uh, authentic snapback, you can see it's got two lines there and two lines there. On the fake, it's got nothing. Um, and stitching on the fake one, is terrible. There's, have you been able to see that? It's stitching loose all around the snap. You can even see one of the threads is hanging out there. Uh, on the genuine one, stitching's perfect because it's a genuine product. If we go to the inside of the hat, we find some key differences. We'll start with the tag. As you can see, the stitching on the Michelin S tag is crooked. It's not in a straight line and the tag is hanging out a mile. If we look underneath, you can see that the rest of the tag is there and there are threads that I've just pulled off right there that you can just keep pulling off all day because it's a crap product. Um, and also this hat states that it's made in Vietnam when the authentic one states that it's made in Bangladesh. And the stitching there, you can see it's a straight line. You can see that the tag is underneath. It's been stitched under like any genuine hat. If we put these two together, you guys will be able to see the differences easier. So I've got the fake one on the bottom and the real one on the top. So there you go. You can see the fake one, the, the tag just hangs out. It's just crap. Uh, we go to the inside of the hat. This is a fake hat. You can see that there's nothing, nothing on the inside. There's nothing there. We go to the genuine one. You can see that the back of the stitching is there. So fake and genuine. Fake and genuine. If you can't see the stitching, you got a fake hat. We go inside, let's look. Well, white writing all around the inside. It's crap, some of it's fading off. This is a fake hat. We go to the genuine, it's yellow. Yellow writing on the inside. That's what it should be. Um, one of the biggest differences for me, it might be tiny, but just to show that you got an authentic hat, it's the point of the hat. Hopefully this will come into focus for you. You can see that it says M and N. That shows you it's an authentic hat. You go to the fake one, it's a 5% piece of shit. It's got nothing there. There's no logo, there's no authenticity, there's no indentation. It's a piece of crap. Uh, we go to the, the brim underneath. You can see with the authentic one, the, the uh, NFL logo is really easy to see. The hologram is perfect. Uh, you go to the fake one. You can see the NFL logo is hard to see. 
so guys, that's basically it. Just watch watch where you buy from. You can get these you can get these pieces of crap from from China for three or four dollars a pop. I mean, they're just they're crap material. Stick with your authentic hats. If you're keen to wear this, I mean, be my guest. You're wearing a piece of shit on your head. If you're gonna wear these, the real ones, well then good on ya. Support the game. Guys, if you wanna buy more authentic hats, go to uh, facebook.com forward slash retro dot snapbacks dot 3000. That's 3000. And uh, just see what we got. Thanks guys.